Oh my god, I can't wait to lose another challenge. How about that? <laughs> That's what's on my mind. I'm so fucking excited. Well, I'm sorry. Why can't the final six be the morning? Up things and two. Dude, she didn't put. Well, I couldn't make up my mind which one. So I just wrote Tilly. Tilly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, because another teeny, right? another layer <laughs> yes. is added. Well, Everyone right. pause. Okay. Another layer is added. <laughs> I thought you just misspelled my name. No. You were genuinely trying to mishmash <laughs> our names. <laughs> Who was that book gonna be on? Did you say Tealy? What did no, you I say? No, I wrote down Tealy because I couldn't make up my mind. So what did you what? say when you held it up? I think what? I what? said your name. Okay, I think I I didn't hold it up though. I just wrote. Wait, have you said like, anything what? after you vote when you have to like you know? So on Survivor. Yeah, when I'm writing, I'm talking. Okay. okay. When I'm writing, I'm talking, and I'm pretty sure one hundred like ninety nine percent sure I said. Ryan was being a good game player, so I'm gonna not be a petty bitch or something like that, and I'm gonna vote for somebody else. Sam, I can Yeah. No. <laughs> the fact that we were all deliberating too for a little bit about who <laughs> voted it, and she was like, oh, it was me. <laughs> and she was gonna be. <laughs> I literally can't believe it. I'll do the new challenge. Welcome to Nick. I'm sorry for not telling you. You were can't hurt anybody when it came up, but I didn't want it. So I, I, I had no idea how it could be used against me, but I was like, I'm just going to wait until six. No, okay. And figure it out now. If anything, it probably could have helped me stay in the game, but I was like, I need to not forget about it for a couple of months. The voting. When we got back, it was chaotic. Fast I feel like my whole game has been about getting us to the end because I feel like if one of us goes now, yeah. then the other's right behind. I'm really hopeful that I can somehow get Taylor out because I think that's going to set me up really well for the end game. Um, at this point, it is, yeah, it's getting down to the hard part of it. So. Yeah, we, there's a whole jar of fucking sugar. So if you, like when you're at home and you put sugar on top of strawberries, we are doing it with the blackberries we found. It's good. And it is freaking amazing. And it gives you lots of energy. And you just mash it and turn it into mush. And you eat the bugs with it so you get protein so don't rinse them off. Alright, so there was a caveman named Dave. He had a smelly <laughs> and He said, what the <laughs> what a smelly old <laughs> but look at the money I saved. Does anyone know why he saved? Other than the people I've already told, because she was <laughs> why well, she was so he didn't have to. <laughs> 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 Time to go! <laughs> For those of you who don't know about Trish, I have an alter ego. Her name is Patricia. She was here on morning number two or day number one, something like that. And we've shortened her down to Trish because she hasn't fully came out yet. Um, but there's probably more Trish to come. We should have been. Okay. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Would you, would you take me past the next one? Yes. Um, 
So right now, I'm trying to push Tini and Haley to work with me and take out Taylor because I feel better having Eric in the game one round further, but we have to break up the Reds. Otherwise, I think they're just going to steamroll to the end and take the game. Yeah. Okay. So, that's where I'm going to go. Okay. Alright. Because I just don't see him. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I don't see them taking me further. I don't think they would. I really don't. They so. would take me out. I think so. I think... And I feel bad because, the truth be told, I like Haley a lot and I don't want her to go at the next one. It's very reasonable. Does she have to? No, but that's what I'm asking you. Like, could we, could we please salvage her and get one of the other two out the next one? I'm okay with that. I just feel like I got a bad read on Barry this round. Um, I don't know. It seems like Barry and Haley and Teeny uh, could easily take a swing at me, so that's one scenario. All right, welcome to the final six immunity challenge. First things first, Eric, I gotta take back immunity. So you're gonna let me touch it this time? Wow, thanks. You're official. Alright, community, back up for grabs. For today's challenge, you will balance your leg to keep a teeter totter stable. You will hold a vase on the other end. If you put too much pressure or let go, your vase will drop. You will be out. The last person with their vase on the platform will win immunity. There is something we need to get to first. On the first day at the marooning, there was an advantage hidden at the marooning site where you all grabbed your items for camp. It was found by Jason as an advantage. It was voted out. It's now in the game somewhere. We need to find it and talk about it. Well, I've had a tremendous disadvantage in my pants for a long time now. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, read that to me. Sure. Congratulations, you have found the cursed legacy advantage. This advantage will only be activated at the final six immunity challenge. The original holder, if the original holder is voted out before then, they must will this advantage to another player left in the game. However, there's a twist. Once the original holder is eliminated, this advantage becomes a curse and therefore is a disadvantage. Whoever holds this note at the final six after that point will receive a huge disadvantage in the game. So, yes, it's been, I will take that. I will, it's been passed down. I will confirm that the advantage would have been immunity from this vote. They wouldn't have competed in the challenge. Two people would have had immunity. The disadvantage, however, is Eric as the holder. You cannot compete in the immunity challenge and you cannot vote at tribal council. One of those things wasn't good enough. Wow. <laughs> it said massive disadvantage. It did say that. So Eric, you can sit out. The rest of you, we'll draw for spots, we'll get started. All right, this challenge is now live. You will hold this beam until you cannot do so any longer. Once your base drops, you're out, or if you fall off the fence, you're out. The last one standing wins a spot in the final five. Barry, how's it going as one of the taller players? I'm doing okay, but feeling it for sure. Haley wobbling. Haley might lose her balance. <laughs> uh oh. And Haley falls. <laughs> Haley's base drops. Haley, Haley is out. Again. Haley, you can sit there or anywhere.
Anyone think they could do this for longer than a half hour? Taylor said yes. If Taylor's the only one who can go more than a half hour, might as well just let Taylor have it now if they go all the Alright, I can. <laughs> TV <laughs> thinks they can go all night, yet... Very wobbling. Can he save it? No, he cannot. Barry is out of this challenge. We're down to three. <laughs> you have just hit 20 minutes in this challenge. And like all good endurance challenges, we will go until only one is left. Okay, so he is out. Uh, he needs face drop. Taylor and Sam have been going at this for over 25 minutes. Establish this on my face. I know. Oh, oh. oh and Taylor. <laughs> Sam wins immunity after 27 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes on the dot. Great job. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. 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 Miss Sam, you have immunity. You have just earned yourself a one in five shot at winning this game. 20% chance. The rest of you, one of you, will be voted out and join the jury to become the seventh jury member. All right, grab your stuff, head back to camp. I'll see you later. I feel like I'm in Gettysburg right now fighting and I'm, I'm holding back. I'm the Iron Brigade holding back an onslaught of Confederates. And then all of a sudden, I'm shooting muskets and then they bring in uh, airplanes and bombs and like atom bombs. And it's like, where did all these weaponries come from? That's how I feel about the twist in this game. It's like, what? Uh, I gotta sit out the challenge and I don't get a boot because Nick gave this to me? Nick? Is Nick gonna be the reason I go out of this game? Oh my God. <laughs> Say it ain't so. We'll all duke it out together. And I'm taking you to the end. Fucking taking you, yeah. obviously. Yeah, I hope Taylor's with us too. I'm so for you, man. Like, even. Yeah, I love you. Mm, love same. You. If I get knocked out, I'm voting for you for sure. Same. Same. Okay. I love you. Me too. Let's not hug or anything right now. But... My whole game has revolved around getting to six with me, Taylor, and Sam. In this scenario, I assumed I would be voting <laughs> at the final six, <laughs> but I'm not. Between that and the ghost vote, I have never been more vulnerable than this game. It feels like all my work's about to be undone. I should so stressful, man. I'm gonna get therapy after this. What am I thinking? Well, obviously I can't vote, but I'm, I 
things I've been hearing that my name's out there um, teeny saying it's coming from the Reds the Reds are saying it's coming from teeny I don't know if they're for sure voting whatever way they are Haley is being wishy-washy so I don't know exactly what's gonna happen I think there's a very strong chance that I get votes and that it could be me tonight people really don't I think people want to see people that have an impressive game okay challenges we all pretty much had easy yeah that's true. she survived everything without having any waiting ever Teeny was trying to pitch um, to vote Barry with the girls. Um, I really hate that Eric can't vote right now because I know he would be voting with me. Yeah. So it's like hard to separate. The only thing with that is that if she goes now, then. We're in trouble yeah. next, I feel like. Um, the thing about the good thing about Teeny is if, if she goes from Barry are gonna link up and try to go after us. Um, yeah. I think so that's why I, I would like from my experience in the game, I would say Haley is a good one because she's gonna get like float to the and take one of our spots. Yeah. I don't know if Taylor's interested in the same as stars right now. Right. Is she saying me? Barry? No. Yeah. yeah. He's, well, no, he said he's hearing him. Um, he said he's hearing him. He said he... You know, I got confused for a second because I thought we were doing very good, very with the alternate, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, no. Your name's not being mentioned. Um, Eric wants us to do Haley. Because she's floating by taking a spot, or so is Teen. I think Teen is more dangerous at the end, so while we have her vulnerable, we should vote her out. Right. Because and these challenges are something anybody can win, like Domino or Balance, I guess that. Yeah. So I feel like while yeah, she's vulnerable, we should take her out now. Because yes. we could take out he right. or her, whoever's left, but... Right. I personally don't want to take her out, because I just, I don't like for me. I can't do for me. Yeah, like, I know, yeah, and that'll buy a lot of people voting for her again. Yeah. I did hear my name also, so like, I'm very nervous. I still have my idol. I am just very conflicting if I just play it and for sure make it to tomorrow, or if I should save it for Final Five, but like, I know me and Barry's things are also out there, so I'm very scared. Okay. Is that not what you want to do? I don't know what I want. I'm like, <laughs> I've heard mine and your names too. I've heard that too. Um, I feel like going with. Uh, part of me wants to eat because I feel like she's just been lying to me nonstop, so I don't know where she she's did. actually at. Okay. She was pitching for you. She was. Yes. I only didn't tell you because I knew she didn't have the numbers and I didn't want you to get be worried. Yeah. And I'm shocked that you didn't get it. I thought you were going to get two. Okay. I thought you were going to get two. That's where I had a confession and I was like, oh, well, I'm about to screw over these girls because I thought they were voting for you. But okay. I'm still down for me and Eric. And I feel like Teenie's the person that would get more votes out of the three girls. And while she's vulnerable, she should go because these challenges are something anybody can win. Yeah. So it's not like I'm threatened by her as a challenge performance, but it's like yeah. anybody can win. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are putting. Okay. So it's gonna be one, you, Barry, Sam, Curtis, me, you, Sam, Sam Haley. And Haley's on your team. And then it's going to be Teeny voting for you or I. Okay. And then it goes so. Okay. I told Barry that he may get Teeny's vote, but that's probably it. Mm -hmm. The rest of us are voting for the Teeny. For real? Yes. Mm -hmm. I promise. I haven't heard your name at all. I know yeah. my name is out there at one point, too. 
but I think we're excited in front of Tim. If you feel, if you'd rather do something else, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm like so out of it. Okay. I, that's all that is. Okay. I just want to make sure you're good with it, because we'll do it. I'll do whatever. There are three narratives happening right now, which should not be happening in a final six with five votes plus maybe a ghost vote. <laughs> um, Teeny's telling me she's going Barry. Barry's supposedly going Taylor. It's supposed to be me, Teeny, and Barry doing Taylor. And then everyone else is telling me Teeny. So what could happen is Barry on Taylor, Teeny on Barry, and then Teeny, Teeny, and me. And it goes to it. So I could tie it somehow, which sounds crazy. Um, why don't you guys give me a notebook? Um, <laughs> I am not good in my head. And that's why the people don't like talking to me. That's fine, but I am. I'm voting for Bay. Yeah. And I would like, as I've been saying, to do girls bidding for her. Yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what my truest intention, that's all I've been trying for. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'll be doing. Just so everyone's aware. I love you, Taylor. Um, but you're in my path to potentially winning this game, so that's where I have to go right now. Um, this is just, it's not a good showing here at the end. Um, I'm very stressed. I think I make it out alive. Um, every time I think it's gonna be me, and I'm ready to tell them that was the best blind side of my life because I don't hear my name. Um, and if it is, Good show. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Everything is stupid. Uh, do you have any questions? Let me stop rambling. If you could have your way to get to final three, you know, you mentioned uh, first conversation I followed you was with Barry, mm -hmm. and you had mentioned one more Eric, so assuming you got your way for six, five, and four, who would they be? I would do Eric, Teeny, Barry, or Barry and Teeny switched. I want, I would love if it was Eric right now, and I'm gonna be really bummed if he has to go back to the hospital and this was like all for naught. <laughs> Bring in the members of our jury, Kayla, Tara, Nick, Sarah, Brian, and Brian voted out at the last travel council. All right, very small group now. Eric, this is the smallest tribal council that you've been to. How is it feeling with just six people here? It's uh, this is the point of the game that I've never gotten before. It feels almost claustrophobic, you might say. It's uh, not as many people. We're, we're not spreading out in the beginning of the merge, man. There's people flying left, right, and center. Now, it's a lot more constrained. Um, so it's a little nerve-wracking, a little just uh, it's like seven, but smaller, you know? <laughs> Teeny. Does this give you deja vu from when we started at the six at the first tribal council with just a small group of people to work with? It does absolutely accept that none of these people are any of the human beings I was sitting with at that first tribal council. In a good way or a bad way? In a good way, I'm here. Right. Sam, you fought very hard in that immunity challenge impressive 30 minute run in that. How badly did you need to have that necklace around your neck? Um, I feel like I definitely needed it because during the last challenge we had, I had packed my stuff, I thought I was going, I thought everybody was about to me out, so like I just, I packed it all, I was just prepared mentally 
embarrassed of it for this one. Like, I just kept telling myself that you have to do it because I don't know if you're doing it right now. Tini and Taylor, your legs are both shaking like crazy. I'm surprised you haven't noticed that at all of the prior tribal councils. <laughs> this is not a new thing. Are you like anxious right now? Always. What is that like? It's taking over your body. Like I can see it. It's like a visceral like reaction to this. I mean, there's six people left. One of us is going home. I, it's anxiety inducing. And do we all not feel it? I guess they just have more control over their life. Taylor, you really tried to win that challenge. Uh, do you feel like you needed to be safe at this tribal? Yes. Why? Um, I just feel like every tribal council is like, I feel like I mostly know where the votes are going, but then there's still like random ones that I am very confused by, and it's more than just the one ghost vote. Um, like last time I thought I knew the split, the two people majority it would be, but then there's like a whole bunch of random votes, so I feel like that is not a good thing, and I could have definitely used um, safety tonight. Barry, what is the vibe back at camp? Are we doing like three pairs going off, two groups of three, four and two? Um, what is it looking like? Mostly pairs from what I've seen, um, but generally speaking, I feel like it's been a pretty tense last kind of 20 minutes or so. Is everyone just breaking off like one or two minutes with one person go off to the next, like speed dating, just in and out, in and out? Yeah, lots of speed dating. Haley, when everybody's talking to everyone and it's very quick and you only have like 30 minutes to get the plan together, how do you keep your story, your story straight? How do you know what the final plan is? What is going on? That's a good question. I feel like what's really going to show that is the votes. You know, we're running around talking to each other and you say one thing to one person, maybe one thing to another person, and um, they might be lying to you, you might be lying to them. You don't know what is actually going to show up until it does, especially with how we've seen the votes go through this whole season, um, where it's been expect the unexpected every single time. Yes. Eric, you lost the ability to compete in today's immunity challenge. You've also lost your ability to vote at this tribal council. How big of a disadvantage is that in this stage of the game? Oh, I don't think it's a disadvantage at all. I, I think I became the tribe mascot, and I think they all forgot that I'm part of the tribe. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> you guys do whatever you want. I sat this one out. <laughs> but you can still be voted for. Don't tell them that. <laughs> no, it's, it's a huge disadvantage. It's, uh, you know, I kind of expected that I would have my vote at the final six of this game. Um, but you got to roll the punches in this game. So that's what I tried to do. Taylor, I saw Teeny get, like, cursed in the pre-merge. Now, do we feel that maybe Eric got hit with the curse a few <laughs> rounds ago with the leg and now this? And it's just like... For sure. Yeah. I didn't even know about the um, curse that has been going throughout the game until like this morning, is that what you mm -hmm. I didn't even know about that until this morning and then Eric's gone when I went to bed and he's a shadowy figure walking past me when I'm going to sleep. I was so confused, but <laughs> somehow he's still here. <laughs> still cursed, but still here. <laughs> Barry, is there any talk of like advantages and like really final? secrets that people may or may not have? Um, I think it's in the back of everyone's minds. I have not had any conversations in regards to it. Um, I think everyone's been coyly looking for idols out there, but I don't think, I'm guessing someone's found one at this point. Um, so we'll, we'll see what we'll see what comes of it. Does anyone have anything else they want to say uh, to this conversation before we get to the vote? All right, we'll get to the vote. As a reminder, Eric, you will not vote. Hey, wait, we're up first. I hope I'm on the right side of the votes. Anyways, my vote is for Tina. She could get a lot of sympathy during the vote. She's played a great game. Anybody has a hidden immunity idol or advantage, you 
would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Is a hidden immunity idol. All votes cast against it's for you. All votes cast against Taylor will not count. Once the vote is read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I will read the vote. First vote, Taylor does not count. Second vote, Haley. Barry. One vote Barry, one vote Haley. Teeny. One vote Teeny, Barry, and Haley. Teeny. That's two votes Teeny, one vote Barry, one vote Haley. The next person voted out is Survivor Pennsylvania Gettysburg and the seventh member of our jury. Yeah, seventh member of our jury, Teeny. Teeny, I need you to bring me your torch. Well, I found out about this game less than a week ago. Um, happy to be here. Hope that we can all be friends after this. I know you're amazing. Thank you. You had an impressive 14 tribal council run. Sadly, that run comes to an end. All right, the final five. An intense game coming to an end. Wow, never thought we can get there. It's kind of surreal. Alright, grab your stuff, head back to camp. Literally a week ago today, I did not know that Survivor Pennsylvania was a thing. I saw the ad, I messaged, I still had no intention of doing it when I messaged. I decided to do it, I said let's go and do it, and now I have had one of the greatest experiences of my life in the past few years. Just really excited, I've missed my life, my friends, and my family, but it's been such an incredible, eye-opening, amazing, rewarding experience to just be out here and go through the highs and the lows, sleep outside in the fucking thunderstorm, sorry I cursed, and make new friends and have no distractions whatsoever. I've really, really needed that. So this has been awesome. I'm excited to watch the season and yeah, don't know if I'll ever do one of these again, but if not, I'm happy this was my first and maybe last experience. Next time on the finale of Survivor Pennsylvania Gettysburg. Five remain. Only one can win. The winner of Survivor Pennsylvania Gettysburg, 